The ability to create AI vector images is what some AI tools currently lack. But what if I tell you that there's a tool that could generate vector images just with the click of a button? So today I'll be introducing to you Kittle AI. It's a design platform that seamlessly integrates AI powered vector image generation, which allows you to effortlessly design digital products like logos, stickers in the perfect format and with ease. I'll be exploring the ins and outs of Kittle AI and show you how it works while creating some digital products you could sell online. So let's get started. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Zini and welcome to Zini Studio. To access Kittle AI, you come to kittle.com and once you sign into your account, it brings you to this page that shows you different templates of what people are creating under the different types of design, logos, label. We are interested in Kittle AI today, but just to give you a brief overview, you could see people are using this to design very crazy designs that are very stunning. I've used this in the past to design stickers. You could check out that video on the channel. Also, um, let's click on Kittle AI just to see a bit of templates of what people are creating. You could see people are making very cute designs and I'll be showing you how to generate the images and make designs like this today. Just to get a bit of in-depth understanding of Kittle AI, at the very top, we click on create magic. It opens up to this page that gives you an overview of what Kittle AI is. It helps explain to you um, how to generate vector logo icons, which is what we'll be doing today. Match designs for those who do print on demand, AI back background removal, mockups. The thing I want to show as well is it gives you a bit of explanation of you know how to write the prompt, how to choose the style, and how to generate the image. This is one thing I like about Kittle. They are very simple in terms of their explanation and the site is very clean and easy to understand. Let's scroll to the base, which is something that is very critical. How do you use the images you generate from Kato commercially? So they said here you can use their AI generated content for commercial purposes or commercial projects as long as you follow our terms of use and licensing. So it's very straightforward. You could use anything you generate from Kato for commercial purposes. So now let's get into, you know, generating these images and testing out Kittle AI. At the very top, you click on new project. It's going to open up a new page and once it loads, it's going to give you the option to choose the size of your project. So I'm going to use standard. And another good thing is it gives you the control of your DPI in terms of print quality. So we change the DPI to 300. And we'll leave the orientation the way it is and click on create and once we have that it gives you a blank canvas just a little bit of walkthrough so at the very top you could see mock-up download and here is where you have a couple of buttons you could see project template text elements upload photos textures and Kittle ai so let's go over here where it says Kittle ai once you click on it it opens up a tab by the left. Now, just to give a bit of in-depth understanding, it gives you different styles. So you can see here image styles. So you say show all. It tells you the type of images you could generate. This is um psychedelic. This is like oil or acrylic oil painting. We have styles like clip arts. We have vector styles and we have patterns. Recently talked about patterns on this channel using another tool. But you can also generate patterns with Kittle AI. So just to get more insight of how these styles work, here you could click on learn more. It's going to open another page that it explains in depth each of the styles. So let's get back to creating the designs. But one thing I need to mention is Kittle AI works with credits. As you could see, I have seven out of 20 because I've been testing it out. So for every image you generate, it takes out of your credits. I'll explain that in detail. So for this particular tutorial, we'll be creating logos. So I want to create a logo for a coffee shop and I want to generate a vector image. So I would say I want to generate the vector art. So I'll click on it and come in here. I'm going to type in like I want to generate a coffee mug that is, you know, steaming. So I would say teacup with steaming coffee and we would click on generate image and see what happens 
it's going to take a bit of time and it will generate the ad for us okay so it generates this which is interesting and for a vector image means you can stretch it out and it won't lose its quality you could see as i'm stretching it out it doesn't lose its quality then it gives you the ability to change the color of the image right away and play around with it increase the border this is something that i really like so you could play around with it and let's take it back to black okay and once you generate any of this image you might ask where is this house so once you come to uploads and click on it you could see the image you generated here this is where it houses all your images and these are some of the ones i generated so now that we have generated our coffee mug let's use this to generate a logo um there are two ways you could generate logos within keto so you could use an existing template or you could create from scratch so let's go to here you say templates and you could say logos so here i will just type in coffee just to see if there are templates that i like and let's just scroll okay so this looks good so i like this so let's click on this and let's just replace let's replace it doesn't replace the images the images is saved already so you could see what it gave us so to, let's use this template to modify our logos using the image we have generated so i'm gonna get rid of this guy and get rid of this and this okay so we'll go back to our uploads again and i have generated a couple of logos you can see the one we generated but let me use this one that i generated before so i'll move this up i like how it looks and I would like to be put, put to put some coffee beans here. So I will come to the left here. You would come to elements. Then here you could search for coffee beans. So let's do that. So it gives you different coffee beans, but I want to choose some. So I'll click here and bring this to the side. Click this as well to this to the side and i would start arranging it the way i want the yellow background is too much so i'm just gonna get rid of the yellow background and use a different color for this so here i'll click on the background and i'm gonna change it to something in case you're about this okay yeah i prefer this so all right so we keep on reducing this so you could change the color of the the image you have generated so i'll just change this a little bit i like how the coffee sits then let's change the text so i'll just change it to zini and this so if you want to change the transformation of how this looks so once you click on the text you could see it's a transformation of arc you could change it to anything you like so just to edit how this looks the flow you can click on edit transformation and you could use these arrows to move things around move the letters up and down depending on what you want so i'll just leave it the way it is then you could also click on this and come to effects and decide to change the effects the offset the angle and play around with it so the color that is popping at the background like the brown you could decide to change it to something else so for instance if i want to change it to this light color it changes it goes away but let's make something dark as you could see it gives it another color so you could play around with your text you get what you like so french toast coffee i like this for the quality i like to change this to a different font so when you click on this you come here text settings you click on the drop down and we're going to be changing this to another one i like this you could expand reduce it a little bit let's reduce it a bit yeah so i like how this looks so another thing is if you're designing and you want to move things in terms of layers you could always come to the bottom um right and click on layers it shows you the layers here and you could move things around or hide it so for instance i want to make this larger i'll just click and drag over all the elements then you could enlarge it as you deem fit so let's see 
or you could select everything and group just use ctrl g if you're using windows or command c for mac okay when you click on it now you could move it all together as a single design yeah so this is a coffee shop logo you could just make it in basically minute so once this is done how do you um offer it or how do you export it so you could offer it in two ways so you could click here on the download and you could choose make sure this is um 300 dpi so you could download it as a png or as a jpeg or even as a csv depending on what you want if you want the background to be removed you click on remove background and this will be on a transparent background if you want that so that is um the first option of what you could do another option is if you want to offer this as a template that people could come in and change what they like so you could use here the share so once you click on the share you could say share a copy of this project and it could generate um for you a link that you could share um on your Etsy listing or any other place you're selling your logos and people could access this and make changes and download as they deem fit so that would this would be for the logo design one more design i'll be showing you today would be if you want to create things like svg files that you want to sell on etsy this is another perfect way to use the vector to generate the images so let's go back to the home we click on new project and then we'll select the same standard change this to 300 dpi and click create and it opens up all right so now we want to generate um butterflies and things like for summer but let's use Kitu ai so we'll click on that and i want to generate things like butterflies and i'll be using the vector art and as well as the silhouette style so i'll click here and say butterflies and i'll select the vector art and click on generate image so you could on your spec time you could also try out other um image generation type but i just wanted to show this specifically for keto okay so you could see that it generated a very clean um butterfly for us so click on this let's see if we expand it like i said is a vector it remains the same and clean this is good so i'll just move this around to the side now i want to generate one for as a silhouette so i'll click on this and i'll click on generate image again and like i said be aware that each image you generate it takes your credit this is really stunning so let's move this aside this is nice these are really nice so let's try one more let's see if we're gonna get another style I'll still use the silhouette and generate image. So this is another one. Um, I'm not too sure about what is in the middle, but you could always regenerate the image if you don't like it. So now we have generated a couple of images. I'm going to delete this. I don't want to use this. I like this too. And I have some other ones I generated that we'll be using. So I'll go to upload. And this is the ones we generated. I have this one. I have this one is a really cool so you could put this here put this here because on etsy or on other platforms people buy this svg files they use it for things like t-shirt designs they use it for things like morgues and other things so you could decide to offer this as black and white or you could decide to play around and change it to any color you want like I said, you can modify the colors of this. So once you come here, object color, you can change it to any color you decide. So you could decide to offer different colors in different packs and package it that way. So for instance, I could use something, this is red, and I could make this a different color just to show you. Let's say we want it in pink, like a hot dark pink, something like this. Yeah, so let me show you how you could offer this or how this works on a mock-up, for instance. So let me just copy this particular pink one that I like. I'll just say copy. 
So let me just open a new project entirely. I'll use the same settings. Make sure this is and create. So I'm going to just paste that image and reduce it a little bit. Okay, so assuming I want to show this in mockups, you just come at the very top here and click on mockup. And it's going to open up different types of mockup by the left. And you could show it could showcase how you want it to look like. So for instance, I want to put it on a hoodie or depending on what you want to put it on. So let's just say I want to put it on a hoodie. So let's say show all. Okay, these are different styles. Let's choose this. And immediately it shows up and one good thing about kittle is if you're moving this around it takes the shape like folded the clothes are it follows that pattern so let's look at this so you see how it is so for the mock-up you could change the color of the shirt yourself just if you want to make this to stand out this is black let's just use black you see how clean this is and you and this is how People will use it and you know use designs around it. This is really cool. So let's go back to what we were creating. So, how do you offer this as it is? So, for you to offer this, there are two ways you could offer it as well. You could offer it as a link or you could offer it as a PNG. And I recommend you offer it as a PNG. But what you need to do is you don't need to offer this as a you could use this as a picture in terms of your listings, but if you want to offer this, it has to be individually. So let's go back to what we the book of we use and go back to editor. So you need to offer the files individually, like a single image like this. Then you click on the download, make sure you have the correct settings and you click on transparent background. So you switch this on and download PNG. So let's download one. So let's click on it and see how it looks. As you could see, it has a transparent background. So you download each of these in, um, designs individually, one after the other, and then you could zip them up and offer them as a, as a package on your listing. And this is how to use or create the SVG files that you could sell. So the last thing I'll be talking about would be how much does it really cost to use Keto AI. So let's go to their pricing. Okay, so in terms of their pricing, so they have... Um, a free plan which you could try out today so in that free plan it gives you the for the a, um, k2 ai it gives you 15 credit for single use and then you could work on 20 projects in terms of the commercial license it requires you using attribution so you have to mention that you are using kettle i'm currently using pro which gives you um k2 ai 20 um 20 credits per month and obviously you, you have the full commercial license so if you're selling um, any of these designs you might want to use the pro license for this and then if you want more access you could try out um the expat future i have a link to um this tool in the description box so you could click on it today and check it out for free and if it's something that you like and you want to continue using for your commercial production then you could you know think of upgrading to the pro or the expert account yeah so check this out for yourself tell me how it is and let me know in the comment section how you feel about using keto ai to generate your digital products so there you have it be sure to like subscribe and put on your bell notification to know when i post a new video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one